I heard about Soy Girls from my friends. They were telling me how much fun it was and all the different things they did. Then I went to the website and looked at it and I really got all psyched up for it and I really wanted to go. I was interested in science before Soy Girls, but I didn't have the same um, sort of passion for it that I do now and I didn't have as much interaction with it, just tests and studying and reading the textbook. So when I came to the camp, it just made science so much more fun by doing all the hands-on experience and seeing all these people who share a love in science. I think um, my absolute favorite part of the Sci Girls camp was the GPS activity and the forensic dig. Those were two parts that were really fun. My absolute favorite part of Sci Girls was going to the wolf preserve and playing with the arctic foxes and going to see um, how the wolves lived and how they needed to be protected and how we really need to protect our world. At the beginning of the camp, I thought that science was just something that boys did or that, you know, you always have a picture of a scientist in your head. And when I went to the camp, what I learned was that anybody can do science and there, there's a lot of science fields out there. WFSU. WFSU is my source for learning. My source for fun, hands-on science. Sci Girls is made possible by WFSU, the National Science Foundation, and the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. If you know a Sci Girl, visit wfsu.org slash or magnet.fsu.edu for more information.